All right, it's November 22nd, and that means it's been 100 days of tattoo, and this is the final day of my project. So if on August 5th you had told me that November 22nd would be right around the corner, I wouldn't have believed you, but it is. Today is November 22nd, and that is the 100th day of tattoo. So this is the last day of my project, and I just wrote some thank you letters to all the businesses. So a big thank you to Dolores Park Cafe, Dynamo Donuts, uh, Brainwash Cafe, and Cups and Cakes. And Let's see, so first, um, a little bit of the numbers that I did. Over 800 stickers got into the hands of our neighbors via cups and boxes at the businesses, as well as about 800 other stickers that were takeaways at various locations that had links to the website and facts about whales made it out into the community. Um, I reached my 100 people uh, goal on my Facebook page, so out of all of those people, at least 100 of them came and checked out my site. All right, so throughout this project, lots of things were really awesome. I learned a ton about the blue whale, as well as other cetaceans. Um, I learned more about my community, the different businesses around here, and the mission in Soma. Met really neat people. I learned how to use iMovie for filming, and as well how to shoot better videos, which you may have seen uh, in my previous ones. I also learned a little bit more about um, how to print stickers myself, as well as making posters with silk screens. So overall, it was really cool. Um, I got a little bit more practice doing some Facebook um, code and working on building my own sites as well. Okay, so throughout this project, I learned a lot and there was a lot of trials that I encountered. Um, first is that the project was 100 days and I applied about three or four hours before the deadline and so I had exactly 100 days to come up with my project and execute it. And so first thing off the bat, I learned that I needed to make a project that was manageable in size. So once I got done with that, the second thing was learning how to take um, movies. And as I was learning to film, I started out with the flip and I actually found out that um, shooting video by yourself, it was a lot easier for me to use my Sony because when you turn it on like this, you can actually video while watching yourself, which um, was something that was a lot easier for me as the project went on. Um, after talking to a few local printers about getting the stickers for my project made, I actually came up with the idea that it would be a lot easier and more cost efficient to do it myself. So what I ended up doing is ordering blank labels on labels.com and then actually printing them on my printer on um, biodegradable paper. So this was a lot easier, a lot better for my project. And also then ordered some craft uh, sticker paper for the flyers and make my old stickers and put these guys at Kinko. So. All in all, for about um, 1,600 stickers, I spent about uh, a little over $100. So pretty cost efficient and kind of cool because you could do it yourself. So the final thing I want to say is please steal my project. Um, what I found out is that people will read things on their coffee cups in the morning, so it's a great way to reach out to your local community. Um, printing stickers yourself is really cost effective and an easy way to get a message across creatively. So if you're either doing a future tattoo project or a different um, project in your community and you want to basically do any of the elements that I did here, please, please do. Thanks to everyone who helped me with my project. A big thank you to El Rio for donating to the American Cetacean Society. And don't forget guys, it's not too late to save the whales.